Hello, Paul. It's so lovely that you've taken time out this afternoon to speak to us at Baby Watching. And I've been asking, as you know, a series of um, people these two really interesting questions. What do you love about baby watching? And what impact have you seen on the children that you've worked with? So over to you. Thank you. Um, uh, no, delighted to be taking part. Um, uh, I was having a little think about both these questions. and. And just the word love itself that springs to mind. Um, it must be one of the few occasions where children really have full reign to talk about love. You know, why is this happening? Because mummy loves her baby. Um, yes. And even when I did a group in uh, special education with children using communication boards, for, for example, one of the students was, you know, tapping the symbol for love. Um, I think I might have mentioned it many times before. Kiss, love, surprise was what he had to say about what he was, what he was seeing. Oh. Um, I think the mums of who, or mums or dads, um, but uh, often the mums who get involved often use that word too. I really loved the sessions um, and certainly class teachers use that word too. It's unusual to hear that word used in, in schools. So it's, it's um, really lovely that it creates that permission, I think. Um, I guess as well, what I love about it, it is such a, a simple model. I mean, there's a complexity to it in, 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 in how it works and how it works for the different people that get involved, teachers, children, um, the parents. Um, and then I suppose I was thinking the inclusivity. So even with children that haven't been so involved or said so much and this is perhaps also a bit about the impact but haven't said so much in a large group situation of a class of 30 children begin to talk about what they're seeing and can relate it to their experience um, the class teachers have certainly noticed that um, and for children that perhaps pre-group or pre-baby watching starting there might have been some concerns that they weren't going to manage it or sit through um, uh, you know the whole session um, uh, they've actually felt very regulated by by the experience and managed to to stay and not needed as much support as, as perhaps was anticipated from from by, by the adults in, in the class I mean great that that thinking took place so um, I think it's very rare for a child not to stay for the session or, or to walk out or, or, or not want to come back. Um, so, yeah, I think those are the sort of two standout things that I love. Um, as perhaps starting to touch on the changes I've seen, um, I know we always hope and, and would like to say, you know, that the E stands for empathy and that there is an increase in the empathy, but I've certainly seen that. Um, and I mean, it's a sort of privilege of being in, in school at other times with the children, but just noticing two boys um, looking through um, the fence into, in, into, the, into the nursery playground um, where their, their friend in their class was by herself in the playhouse and looking through and wondering why she was there and maybe because it's, she wasn't very well and that, and I, I was just there were two two boys in in the group that we were running and I thought that's that's baby watching formula that's 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 the way we think about the questions and ask the questions um so definitely definitely see that um I think it's a really lovely way to validate children's curiosity and, and what and what they bring and we see it time and time again even when you know the adults have been oh baby's asleep or baby's probably going to fall asleep the, the, the children are very comfortable with that and ah yeah. oh, maybe he's dreaming maybe he's dreaming about mermaids so um oh yes what a great idea uh, so um it's uh you know it has such a lovely momentum and energy even you know in the stiller or quieter points um um and it's I think there can be a little bit of anxiety sometimes in bringing it into schools so where there's going to be a mother and a baby and will the baby be okay but it, it's a very safe experience all around I think um, with with the sort of planning that we do before before it starts um, and um, you know I've both had teachers in the schools I've worked in would also say they've absolutely loved it so um, 
yeah. So wow, well, Paul, you said so many uh, just really beautiful things. I mean, we've talked a lot about the safe space, the space that gives permission where children can feel really valued and seen and heard and try out new words or, or a way of engaging with the relationship. I'm also really intrigued about the way you said, you know, the framework of baby watching, this sort of way that children then can observe other situations and relationships and things happening between each other because they've got that series of questioning and it becomes a way of decoding uh, the way a relationship works so that they can make sense of it for themselves and for others i think that was that was really interesting and the other thing i thought was really interesting was that you said so few children so they just want to stay i mean what is that i just find that amazing that the, the engagement that the sort of appeal the attraction um i'm i'm not sure but uh, i mean it's something i i have thought about and and uh, and uh, i think i've talked talk to people about before i think um as well as all you know the, the safety of the space and, and 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 the routine and the structure to the sessions i think that there must be a safety for young children in seeing um and i guess it's the group leader but it's also the idea to do with the attention of, of the mother on the baby and the other adults in the room that um uh, you know grown-ups or adults are interested in in the in the inner world or in the emotional life of, of a little person and i think that has to include them as well um i think i've given the anecdote of the boy he's i mean he's now in year five um, when I see him, he just kind of gets a couple of inches taller and he, he's going to tell me something because he knows I will be interested and he knows I'm interested from the experience of, of, of baby watching, I think. Yeah. So I was king so-and-so in the, the, the class assembly and, I, you know, he just knows that he's, that's going to be received well, I think. Um, and, you know, it's still often the the first thing that the children would say even if it's a little bit hazy they'll go i know you and we'll say yes i know you from baby watching or some of them yeah. you know, two three years down the line they're still saying how many teeth has the baby got now uh, oh. you know there's still still that connection yeah. um um and i i don't know if i i did a little follow-up with when um a mum baby came back just for a visit there was a, a connection because um the baby shared a birthday with um, uh, one of the boys in the in, in the class, yeah. uh, and we came back. Um, uh, she came back on her birthday, and um, we had to talk to them a little bit about um, you know that she would be bigger, but they were also bigger. And they came up in small groups, um, and every one of them had written or drawn something for her birthday. Uh, you know, change their volume or tone of voice. Um, of course, the baby, little, little girl then by two, was quite able to hold her own and, and tell them about her interest in Teletubbies, which was yeah. probably quite a surprise for them. Yeah. Um, but somehow they, you know, get kept and, uh, you know, attuned enough um, to, to, to make that experience go really, really well. Um, yeah. I, I yeah. love what you said also, that how touching that even several years later, children still feel a greater sense of connection to you because of that experience of being you being their group leader and valuing them in that way. I mean, I just think about the impact that would have on a teacher, teacher's relationship with her children or, or his children. What, what an incredibly powerful relationship is created. Yes. Yeah. Uh, um... Yes, I suppose uh, I mean, we're coming at it uh, of working as a you know a therapist in in in, in schools. But yes, the, the chance to 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 build a relationship um, and and I guess we'd be really thinking about attachment with your class through this experience. Um, yeah, it would be it's, it's obviously a wonderful opportunity. Yeah. Um, and even if the teachers aren't leading the group, I, I wonder if children do see a slightly different side. Um, um, just how they talk about the baby, how they relate to mum, perhaps a softer side, um, yes. um, which, yeah. um, though, you know, they're invaluable in, in helping keep keep the routine and the structure and the rules of, 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 of school, which I think are vital to, to working in the school with baby watching. Um, uh, yeah, there's just a, a chance for them to, to, to talk about things in a different way, I think, and for children to see something. Um, yeah.
And that, yeah. that feels quite transforming, actually, because if a child feels safe with the teacher or with the group leader, they're going to take more educational risks because they feel safe that they can they can experiment and they can try yeah 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 paul fantastic it's been such a pleasure um talking to you and you sharing some of your amazing stories you're a wonderful group leader you're a great mentor um we're very grateful at baby watching for everything that you do um and it's just been a pleasure talking to you and um, i'm sure this won't be our only video <laughs> we'll talk again <laughs> Great, I enjoyed it too. Lovely to see you, Michelle. Thank you. Yeah. Bye. Bye.